everybody, my name is Kumbelt from the Fellowship of Acoustics and it's my favorite time of the week again. It's time for new arrivals and this week we've picked five beauties for you again and it's a classic week. I would say we have a bit of everything so it's really cool and I can't wait to show you the first one. So the first one up is a 58 Les Paul from the custom shop in VOS finish and what I really love about the 58 is the plain tops. So of course a really good figuring on the top is really nice. But on a 58 with a plain top, it, it, it really lets the guitar speak. So this guitar is, in a, is, an, is an ice tea burst. An ice tea burst is a really nice light burst that looks like it's been faded for many years. Um, it's treated with the VOS finish and the VOS finish is uh, it's a really nice finish. It, it, it's semi-gloss. So when you look at the guitar, you already start doubting, is it old, is it new? But it doesn't have all the weather checking and that sort of stuff. And what's really cool about these custom shops is they all weigh around four kilograms. So the perfect weight for a Les Paul. A really nice one. So the next one up is a really interesting one because it's one that you don't see too often, yet it is a classic. So this is a Southern Jumbo True Vintage and the True Vintage series is a series that they had not before the historic collection because then they had the vintage, but before that then they had the True Vintage. And um, back then this was the closest you would get to a Southern Jumbo. What I really like about these guitars is they don't have any torification, so it's really the pure wood speaking. But they have things like a Madagascar rosewood, bridge and fretboard, which adds some sweetness to the tone. Um, it all, everything from is historic, so the beautiful burst, of course the purfling is correct, and of course the only Gibson is good enough banner here on the headstock. This guitar has been played in for a few years, and then really the top comes to life, and it's a, it's a really open sounding, great instrument. So the next one up is also a trade-in, and this one is actually quite old. I think it's, let's see, what's the year? 2013, so it's 11 years already. Yes, time is flying. We're getting old fast. So it's this OM2H, like that, from 2013, and I'm a big fan of old Collins guitars. Um, Collins guitars are known to be incredibly loud and incredibly strong, and they have a perfect balance of all the notes. But sometimes you hear on a new Collings that people find them a bit too stiff. Well, you don't have that on an old Collings. So once they are played in, they are so open and so rich, yet holding all these unique characteristics from a Collings. So for me, this is the perfect blend of a perfect OM guitar. Beautiful Sitka spruce top with Indian rosewood back and sides, adding a really nice bass, and, but yet also a nice treble end. Um, it's the perfect finger pick.
So the next one up is a master build that we received straight from the Fender Custom Shop. Um, it's Andy Hicks Dual Mag. And Dual Mag's really cool. It's uh, a double magnetic pickup with an Alnico 5 pickup and an Alnico 2 pickup. And what it does, it, it really balances out the pickups. So overall, when you strum the guitar, it gives a really nice, even tone, which you can push really far without getting muddy or getting too sharp on the ear. And um, of course, with these looks, everybody wants to have that on stage. Um, if you're curious about that balancing out, let's listen to the demo. And last but not least, uh, we got a treat from our friends in the UK. So this beautiful Atkin LG47 arrived and it's a showstopper because look at that burst. So spraying a burst is like a piece of art and sometimes you have this burst that's really alive and this one definitely is. It's a really nice fade in there. It's not too harsh, it's just perfectly made. So Alistair Atkin uses this really nice torification in the top and he is really the master of getting that vintage feel into that instrument. Um, Indian Rosewood fretboard and bridge, mahogany back and sides, and of course a really nice LG shape. So that LG shape is small but yet holds enough bass to also do soft strumming. So it's a really interesting guitar for singers, songwriters and people who don't have a really loud voice then this is a perfect companion. So that was it for this week. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I really hope you enjoyed the guitars. Uh, I at least did. Um, it's a really nice selection. Um, I hope to see you in the next episode. And if you miss anything in our store, just let us know what we are missing. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. All right, cheers, bye bye. Bye. -bye.